way of putting good morning or evening, depending where you're at. This, this is going to be a quick breakdown of the Dallas Stars against Vegas Golden Knights. What a shootout game. I hate shootouts. I'm not even a fan of shootouts, but there are times where they shine bright, like Brian Boucher getting the Flyers in the playoffs, my team that one season, and Jake Ottinger and Logan Thompson. Got to give credit to both sides. Having a hell of a performance, being two of the top stars of the game as a whole, as it was 35 shots in favor of the Golden Knights, to 30 of the stars in regulation plus over time. I would say, I mean, over time, the Stars did get a couple of the better chances, and also that one save that was a difference maker save uh, in the game. Also, Jake Ottinger had a couple of different maker saves as well, but I thought Rupe Hintz was going to uh, score a one goal there when Logan Thompson made that glove save. Of course, his glove being on this hand can sometimes kind of be a bugaboo for shooters when they're used to most goalies having, obviously, the glove on the left hand. But I thought this was a goaltender battle. Um, the great Pirlo Wisdom, check out his show on Pirlo Wisdom Channel as well for some great hockey content. Me and him talked as I was talking in his live chat. Uh, wasn't on the show today, but was talking in his live chat about how I think Thompson is a very good goalie. Just kind of struggle bunnying this year at the end. And a big part of that that I didn't mention in the live chat is also he's just a young kid that's kind of thrown into the gauntlet here in a playoff run when he's been under pressure. Um, in every level this far and has handled it. He just hasn't fully handled it in every game at the NHL level, but you saw it here in a game that they played for their playoff lives where he was able to step up. But Adi was just a bit better and one of my favorite goalies that played very well in the under-18s and solid in the World Juniors and the World Championships for Team USA, one of the best American-born goaltenders currently in the league. Jay Godinger stepped up and got it done as that shootout was one of the best shootouts I've ever seen uh, amongst goalies. You have both goaltenders looking very sharp, looking really locked in, and even though Thompson got beat, he almost even got back to that one damn save uh, on Miro Heiskanen, which would have been a A++++ save, and you had multiple A++++ save by Thompson and Ottinger in that shootout and in regulation. Not... um. And, and also a couple in overtime, but definitely in regulation and definitely in the shootout. This was a ridiculous goaltender battle of a game. It was kind of whoever hiccuped first, and I wouldn't even say Thompson really hiccuped in the damn shootout. It was just a beautiful move made by a great defenseman, one of the top-line defenses in the league that's not even in his peak prime yet, which is ridiculous to think, Miro Heiskanen. So that was a beautiful move by Heiskanen, beautiful effort by Thompson to almost get back. Adi was just a bit better. Heiskanen, after getting that winning goal there, has to be a star of the game. Then the two goalies have to be the other stars. They'll be a combined star of the game. And then you have to give it to Jason Robertson, getting his 39th and 40th goal, turning into one of the league's elite goal scorers at such a young age. He's going to be an interesting guy to watch as he continues to also grow into his full peak prime, where it's scary to think two guys are already great and Robertson and Heiskanen are not fully even in their prime years yet. But peace out, everybody. Stay safe. This has been a quick reaction to the great game between the Vegas Golden Knights and Dallas Stars. That puts the Dallas Stars magic number to one, baby, as the Stars can close the playoffs. I love watching Knights hockey, too, but I, this is kind of the year with a lot of players I like on the Stars. I've been always a fan of Tyler Sagan because some people just don't like him from his attitude. I've always kind of liked that value of being different than other people, but also have always admired him just as the skill set of a player he has been as well. Um, I think he's one of the more, most <clears throat> skilled players. Sometimes he just doesn't always show it because I think he doesn't always give max, but when he does, he's one of the best, I think, out there, and he's been on one of the top lines in the league this year at times. That's for damn sure. So I think the Stars, they're going to be an interesting team to watch as they continue to follow it out. They could potentially finish at 97 points or more, as I think they have two more games left, if I'm not mistaken. But this was a great battle of a game, and exactly what you want to see in basically a playoff game is Vegas was playing for their lives. Is now they're not officially eliminated, but pretty much eliminated, unless if a miracle happens and the Stars lose out and they went out, and I don't see that happening. Um, the Vegas Golden Knights are going to be out of it. They would have been out of it if the Stars won a regulation, but this was a fantastic game. Felt like a playoff atmosphere. And the Stars stepped up, and I think this was a great game for the Stars heading into the playoffs because they saw how they can battle and be great in those high-pressure situations. And Ottinger, as a young buck, can be very good in those high-pressure situations, which I think we already knew from past experiences, but this just further solidifies that. Peace out, everybody, and stay safe.